Kunda is one of the areas or towns severely affected in the recent floods in KwaZulu-Natal. And we're here in Inanda, but the Mzinyati community, many of the homes along the banks of the Mzinyati River that you see behind me were affected. No less than 45 people here alone were affected. And also in this area, the body of um, a baby no more than four months old was washed against the backyard of one of the homes here. This pile, extremely close to the Mzinyati River, used to be the Mieza's four-bedroom home. We were just standing there by the neighbor. There we heard the, 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 sing, the sound while the building was collapsing. For the Bengus, it seemed funny at first, till the swollen river almost engulfed their home. I was in the house and we ran away, me and my parents and my daughter, because everything happened so fast. Yeah. It looks like the water was quite high. How high was it? It was high because do you see the level of televisions in the wall? Yes, everything was messed up. The whole house was flooded. It was bad. The Mkise's home escaped the swollen river by a hair's breadth. My mother and father started to pray. Then the water started to move, to move down. That's how we survived by the Across the affected areas, rural and urban, the site wasn't pretty. While some affected people are trying to salvage and rebuild, some homes still sitting on floodplains are disasters waiting to happen. Not even the usually clean Durban beach was spared. People were, were, were like, they were digging. They were looking actually for bodies, you know. They will tell you if you ask them that my house was here, um, but my brother is still missing. I'm still looking for him. We came across a search and rescue crew watched closely by distraught family members. We have found a number of uh, people already, uh, but we're continuing the search. President Sir Ramaphosa Monday night announced three phase measures to support affected persons and rebuild what's been destroyed. But given the usual corruption and diversion deals, some are skeptical help will come. Yeah, government can release the money, but uh, you see, the problem is that I know that that money won't go to the people that's supposed to go to. Because you see, even now, even one council came here, no one. Weather permitting. Hopefully, all that's been mobilized, all that's been raised, will water down to the people who actually need help. From Inanda, KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.